Hey guys, it's Gio from Microsoft at Florida International University, and today is December 31st, 2013. It's 3.23 p.m. right here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the bullet behavior. So, instead of bound to layout, this project is going to be called Construct to Behaviors Bullet. So, the best way to show the bullet behavior is by using an actual bullet. And believe it or not, I have a spaceship and who moves around the layout, so maybe I should add a bullet that I can use uh, that he can shoot. So, let's add our bullet, right? And I'm going to resize this bullet to something small, like 20 by 20, because that's a cool size to make a bullet. And I'm going to just paint it. But, you know what, 20 by 20 is a little much. Like, let me make it 20 by 15. Maybe that's cooler. Perfect. That looks more bullet-like, right? So, here's my bullet. And I'm going to move him here just so he doesn't, you know, get shown in the screen. Because the second the game starts, a bullet that's spawned will start moving in that direction. So I just took him out of the screen peripheral so you don't see him when he spawns. And the reason he's on the screen is because you need at least one instance of an object in your project in order to be able to create any instances successfully. So let me, instance variable, let me go to the bullet behavior and add it. So this is as simple as adding the bound to layout. You just scroll down to movements, you add bullet, and it has a ton of properties here on the left. And we just modify those. So I'm going to make his speed 200 because I like that speed. It's not so bad. And the set angle basically rotates your, your object accordingly depending on which direction you're facing. So since I'm facing the right, I don't have to worry about the set angle, but if I were to try to change the direction it's going in or do anything tricky, I may want to take it off because it can get out of hand. So now I have my bullet, and I'll run the project just to show you what happens with him. But I'm going to take it a step further than that and show you guys even something cooler. So okay, you see our bullet, he's moving like that, perfect, right? So he, he behaves the way we want. Maybe we want to make him a little bit faster, like 300 would be a little cooler than that. So let's drag this up again so it doesn't just do what it did last time. And now I'm going to mess with my keyboard input. I'm going to use the on key pressed um, method. Well, on key pressed event. And I'm going to check if I press the space bar. So if I press my space bar, I'm going to want to spawn a bullet on my player. Right? So, boom. That's all I do. I take the bullet, I spawn him on layer 0. So I'm going to take a quick look at layers, which I've also modified. And you have a bullet layer and a player layer, right? So the bullet is on the bullet layer, whereas the player is on the player layer. You see? And the bullet layer is lower in priority than the player layer, which means when I spawn a bullet on that layer, it's going to be... I'm going to see the player still. Like... If these guys overlap, I'm going to see the player instead of seeing the bullet. So that's all that that means. And the reason I do that is because bullets get shot usually from under a plane, from not from above them, right? So aesthetically, we're trying to make sense. Um, and I'm going to run it, and it's going to do what I want. It's going to spawn a bullet every time I click the space bar. And how cool is that, right? I'm like shooting bullets out of my plane now, so I feel like super awesome right and it's pretty cool so that's that so that's the end of our video and i hope you have a nice day see you in the next video thanks